got a call and we, we we are calling you so that you come and get your pin i see my pin you see my pin eh what did you say my pin hey i just took permission from the office and ran to the post office when i got there i saw the so i was like why is this piece like this you know what what's up people welcome back to my channel it's b b b right here again if you are new don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel if you're not new thank you for sticking around so today you already know what the title is all about right so yeah i'm gonna be telling you my first paycheck on youtube yeah i'm going to be telling you the process how i got paid how much i got paid and stuff like that so stick around while we quickly move into the video right now so yeah guys as you can see i'm so excited i get excited and you know it's december and i got my first paycheck december so it's gonna be guys like literally i'm so happy like i'm seriously very very happy and let me not just waste so much of your time let us really dive in into this video you know so yeah here is my pin guys you know what i waited for so long for this pin i made a video about my monetization that took up to five months like four to five months you know and then I had to wait extra two months for this pain. Guys, you know what I passed through to get this pain. Ah, ah, ah. Anyways, the good thing is, after I got this pain, it took me two days to receive my first paycheck. And I was wowed, like literally wowed. So it happened like this. First of all, I got monetized. After waiting for so long, guys, I will leave the video somewhere around... In the description box or on the card above just click there and listen to whatever it is i went through during my monetization all because i am a nigerian youtuber i don't know why that happened but i guess because of some stereotypes or something but literally innocent people like me suffer those things but that's by the way i'm gonna move into telling you all about this paycheck right here so the first thing is after I go monetize, after you get monetized, you will have to get to a threshold of about 10 USD before you can verify your identity. So now, if you are a Nigerian and you are in this part of the world, you need to verify your identity first of all before you can receive your paycheck. What does verifying your identity mean? Verifying your identity means sending AdSense a picture a clear picture of your identity card which can be your national id card your driver's license or your international passport your nigerian international passport so the options are any of these three just like i mentioned international passport national id card or driver's license out of these three i had one which was my international passport so that was when the process started I made up to 10 USD and that 10 USD needs to move to your AdSense account first. If it's on your YouTube and you're seeing it on your analytics, it doesn't mean that you've, you've gotten that. You only, you're only confirmed to have made up to 10 USD when you see the money on your AdSense account. So I made way more than that. And then the next thing I received a mail from Google saying that um, you need to verify your identity by putting any of these three ID. Take a picture. The picture should be clear. The picture should not have any reflection and stuff like that. I mean, being someone that is very, very hyper, 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 I just literally took my phone and took a picture of my passport and uploaded it. And then I received a message saying that this picture is not accepted because it has reflection and glare on it. I'm like, what's that? And then I rushed to Google and I browsed and I heard that we have only three times, three grace. That's what you have to do this verification. That means I blew up my first attempt. So now I am left with two more attempts. So I dived into the cyber cafe 
and told and I told them to scan my data page of my international passport, which they did. But when they scanned it, I was telling that guy that I'm seeing something that looks like glaring. You know these microchips that they use to like authenticate international passport, it shines and all those things. So I, I saw the coat of arms shining, the stars and all those. I'm like, this thing is not making my name come so clear, like it's so like the glaring and reflection is too much the guy said this is how the scan copy will come so he tried to re reduce the lighting and all those stuff but it was still the same so i'm like okay this computer has scanned it so computer is gonna notice it and then i uploaded it guys i blew up my second attempt and i was left with one that was when reality struck me i'm like one more attempt so i started running around to try to ask questions oh my god i tried to do a whole lot of things just to be just not to blow up my last attempt you know what i mean so i browsed and then i had to contact youtube where youtube help and all once you are on the you'll be able to ask questions or you'll be able to like click contact youtube i think help and then from help they will tell you to put your email address and your real name and the screenshot of your channel and the questions you want to ask so you have two options from there is it that to choose that you want to ask them questions via mail or you want them to go to or you want them to chat you live so you have the live automatic chat uh, option so i requested to speak to them via mail which they replied me afterwards and i was so so happy guys don't mind the noise though there's no light and that's generator so then they replied me and they told me, okay, the picture should not have any glaring, no reflection, no light, no this, no that. Make sure you capture the four corners of the passport, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, these are the same instructions you gave, guys. Like, tell me what to do. I've done this and I have just one more attempt. If I blow up this attempt, what happens? And the guy said, I should just try and follow these steps and all those things. You know what I did? I took a screenshot, a, a, a picture of my, I made sure I followed all the instructions and I sent it to the person that replied the email and I was like, and I'm like, okay, well, this is my last attempt and this is, I've tried to follow all the instructions you gave and this is what it is, please help me vet this, if this is okay or something like that and the guy said, just okay, I'm like, oh. so I went ahead and uploaded it on my AdSense account and I slept up woke up the next morning to hear congratulations your identity has now been verified i was happy so i thought oh i verified my identity that's the last step and then after a few days i think when i met, met my um hundred dollar threshold because yeah you have to like me no 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 i already had my hundred dollar but i think once you have that 10 usd you, you are still going to continue the process to the pin as in to do your pin verification and then I was happy that, okay, okay, your identification is gone and blah, 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 and all those things. And then I woke up the next morning and I heard your AdSense account is on hold because you have not verified your address. Yay! Hey. And I'm like, which one is verifying my address? They asked me to put my address and blah, blah, blah. And then I should click. I should make sure the address is correct. And then they will send the pin to my address. So I did that. So... I used a friend's place that I felt okay. Oh, there's a post office close to his place. So either way, I'm going to send the pin and I'm going to re re receive it. And that was the beginning of my problem. I waited for this pin. I kept on calling the post office. I begged the guy and everything. Even my friend that used this address, he kept on like uh, asking them for updates, asking them to help us find the store. Do you know that after one month, we were still looking for the pin and on youtube the instruction they gave was that it was going to arrive between two to four weeks so i'm like it's more than two weeks now it's more than four weeks it's getting to how many weeks now so what i did i went back to my accents and i saw a place where they flagged that if i haven't received the pin i can request for um pin again so i chatted them up again this time i did not use the email i did a live chat so i asked the guy a series of series of questions and he answered me he told me not to worry once the address is correct and everything so i asked him can i change the address like let me even try another address he said okay i can go ahead and i used my address because i have used my address to shop at aliexpress.com and i received something in the post office that is not so close to my house but at least i know where the post office is so i used the same details and that was it you know what so i lost hope because i started chatting people 
people were like they never received their pin they did manual verification and those people did not do identity verification because I, identity verification is more like manual verification the way they do manual verification is by putting your recognized id card so when people are asked they said they waited for the three times they, they issued the pin for three times they never got their pin and then they waited and they did the manual verification when i checked the guy the guy told me that they don't do that again that i have to wait for the pin and after the three times if i don't get the pin then i have to charge them again and they are now going to do manual sending of the pin i'm like is it manual verification or you will send the pin manually he sent he said he will send the pin manually i'm like <gasps> I was like, God, please let this pin come. I don't want to blow up this because after the uh, identity verification, you have three attempts for the identity verification. The same way you have three attempts for the identity identity verification, that is the same way you have three attempts for the pin verification. So now I used the first one; it didn't come, and I changed the address, and I was waiting. So because I was calling the other post office, because I was like, that one was sent first. So even if this second one is going to come. That one is supposed to get to the post office before the second one. So I did not even bother asking this new post office. I was still asking the old one and they were telling me it's not there. I felt so, so frustrated. I was so, just, in fact, at a point I cried, like, <clears throat> I cried. But that's by the way. So after a, after three weeks and six days, it was remaining one day for the second one to get to four weeks. Because they said they were going to send it to, between two to four weeks. So on the three weeks and six day i said to go to the new post office and they said the person in charge is not around i should drop my information and i dropped my information i went to work then i was in the office i got a call and we, we we are calling so that you come and get your pin i said my pin you see my pin eh what did you say my pin hey i just took permission from the office and ran to the post office when i got there i saw the i was like why is this piece like this do you know what the guy told me that is being here for over two weeks, guys. Over two weeks, and I was killing myself contacting the other post office. But actually, YouTube told me that if it's going to come in any of the post office, that it is still going to be the same pin. So I shouldn't worry. Shall you get? So I got there. I could not believe myself. I called the guy again. Wait, I I know I'm expecting two things: one good from AliExpress and one pin. Are you sure it's the Google pin? Please, my name written on it. Tell me now. Tell me. I was so hyper. And I took permission and I ran to the post office ASAP, like immediately. And when I got there, they showed me the pin. I was like, wow. As I, I was like, God is faithful, guys. Like, God is faithful. Because I've been putting this thing in prayers, as in giving me headache. I waited for so long for my utilization. Now, do I need to wait for so long for pin verification again? It was crazy, but it was worth it. The wait was worth it. You know, while I was waiting, my money was hipping, 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 hipping. And basically, that's all. So immediately I got it, I did not even leave the post office. I used my phone and opened my, my AdSense account and I put the pin on the the box that is provided and then I clicked submit. And after I submitted the pin, my account was still saying your account is on home because you have not verified your identity. I'm like, ah, I've submitted the pin now. So I refreshed the page and I just left it and was like, let me be happy that the pin is here first. I still have three attempts to like put the pin, so that's not a problem. Because me, I used to blow up my first attempt every time. I don't know why, but yeah. So, firstly, I left it and I went home. No, I went back to work and after then I got home. And then, before then, I already imputed all my information, my bank account and all. And then around five, I was like, let me check my mail. I checked my mail. But before I checked my mail, I was saying that I want to change my domiciliary account to my Naira account because more people are saying that it works that way. So I was still like trying to see if I can change it or not. But then when I click on the account details, I will only see my last three digit number. And then when I wanted to play with my mind, like trying to tell me like, are you sure your account is correct? Are you sure your account is correct? So I was like, okay, when I get home, I will see if I can even use my Naira account once and for all. And then I got home, I opened my phone and saw another man that they sent me my money. I'm like, how? I was still trying to check my account. Why are you doing like this? That was how I got restless. And that was on Wednesday evening. So I'm like, I'm not stupid. I know myself. I'm always very careful. I'm not reckless. This account number, you must be correct though. Because I know when I put, when I feel this information, it, it has to be correct. It has to be correct. I was panicking. I'm like, ha. YouTube now said if you've not received it, you have to wait for five working days to for the money to reflect. I'm like, hey! I started chatting on my friend. I started fresh. Fresh has been a very as a good support system since I've been passing this through this process. 
So I chatted her, she told me chill that the thing used to come after two or three working days. And then my own was on, it was on Wednesday at 5 p.m. And then Thursday, I kept on checking my mail, nothing. And then on Friday, I was like, you see this thing, I'm not gonna stress about it. Like God answered my prayer, he monetized my account. My PIN verification went through. My identity verification went through. I did my PIN verification. Ah uh ah, -uh. is it not now the money that I beg my God is bigger than all those things? And that's how I chill though. The next thing I just heard, bang bang, bang bang, boom. And that was the money, guys. Okay, now let me break it down. The amount I received, I received it on the 15th of December, and they said they paid me on the 13th of December. This is not the time YouTube pays. YouTube pays from 21st, but I get I received this money because my two months, Abby, my a month and half money I've been making from YouTube, they 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 passed the stretch code and they've been hanging there. You understand? So I think after I verified my pin, they were like, let us pay her for those months first, then she can wait for her December pay and all that. So I think they did some calculation and they removed some part of the money from my accent and paid me. So I still have some money left on my accent. So I think the one they paid me was last month and the month before. So to cut the whole story short, to cut the whole story short, I received $269.85 USD. $69 for the first time. That's my first paycheck. I don't know, but I think it's dope. It's cool. The weight was worth it. The money is not so small. I'm so happy, and I know you are happy for me. God, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm extra right now, guys. It's just because I'm happy. Man. Basically, that's it. And um, no, no lies. That's the first um, money I received. So I don't know why they had to pay me some because I have some money left in my AdSense account. So probably I guess they're gonna pay me that when it's a normal time. But, but normally I was told that it to pay between 21st and 25th of every end of the month. So I guess they just they knew I needed the money. So maybe like verify my pin, they paid me the money. So guys, that's the good news. So to so you all watching this video. Hoping that one day they will receive their pay, first paycheck and you're in Nigeria and you think, oh God, it's so hard, it's not possible. Don't worry. The God that did this for me, who did it for you all? Hmm? So basically, that is all for it. I don't want this video to be so long because I know I'm very happy. So I am just talking and talking and talking. But basically, that's what it is. So my first paycheck was $269.85 and it is breaching right here right there in my domiciliary account some people said they use their nigerian account i don't know how how true that is some people said it works but i'm using a domiciliary account and that's all i know so i know this information is going to help someone out there if you like this video do not forget to like share subscribe share to your friends so many people need this, this information if you're a nigerian and you're a youtuber just know that after monetization there comes your your identity verification with your pin verification and boom you get your money so i'm gonna leave you guys now if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video <laughs> until then guys bye bye